everybody, this is video number two. With fresh underwear. Please check out video number <laughs> one. <laughs> so. And video number three that we haven't uploaded yet, that we probably won't there upload for another month. will not be a video number three. There will eventually. We not just, in this not, series. But we won't call it number three, so you really won't know it's number three until you watch it. Don't listen to him. Yeah, don't listen to him. All right, so we're going to show the remainder of the records that we've been listening to for the last little bit. This is... And um, he's going to start. <laughs> Almita's Greatest Hits. Jeez. Well, I don't want the video to go Cut too Cut me long. off, why don't you? I tried. And this is... I don't really know how to describe this. It's like... It reminds me of um, Michael Old, Oldfield type music it's instrumental from what I remember. I remember uh, it's sort of electronic I think. I think I like um, that too. I have no clue but it, there, he does like Star Wars main title, um, the planet Mars, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. But he just passed away a couple, like a year or Who is so it? ago. Tomita. Who is that? I think he's an Asian artist I want to say. I never heard of him before. But I have a lot of his records. There he is right there. Oh, he is Asian. So, I, li I liked it, but I like everything pretty much. So. He does like everything. Take it away. Next thing I have here is Rita Coolidge. And this is The Ladies Not For Sale. I think she's cool, Edge. Here is her sitting in front of Stonehenge. <laughs> and, um, I mean, it was okay. It really wasn't my favorite. Would you stop? It really wasn't my favorite record that I listened to, but I w it wasn't bad. I don't know if it'll stay in my collection or not, but we'll see. Maybe. Uh, I heard a song on, I think it was YouTube, I ran across at one time, I think it's how I was made aware of this group, uh, Shovels and Rope. Oh, this is such a good band. Oh, Be Joyful. This is the only record I have from them. Um, I bought this at Everybody's, I don't know, it's been a while back, and they had several other ones at the time. I don't know if they still do or not, but... The music is, how would you describe it? It's sort of folksy. It's kind of country slash folk music. But it's really good. It's super good. It's so good. And I love I it. I think the first song that I'd heard was, I think it was Obi Joyful, I think. But anyway, Shovels and Rope, check them out. They're kind of on the same line as... Um, Nikki Lane or um, what's the name of that band that I like? The Sisters. Secret Sisters. Secret Sisters. Kind of the same vein as that. So if you know who that is and you like their music, you'd really enjoy them. Or if you don't know who that is, check them out too. Yeah. Um, the next thing I have is another Rita Coolidge. Um, nice feeling. Have you ever seen that one? And again. It was okay. I, I don't know if I'm a, a fan of Rita Coolidge yet or not. I really like the artwork on her albums, but I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of her music. But I need to re-listen to them and see how I feel. Uh, switching gears quite a bit. We'll get into Wasp's first album. That's switching gears a whole lot. And, well, these were accumulated from different yeah. vinyl Mondays. So sometimes I grab stuff in a theme and sometimes I don't. So but there's the... I love us some Blacky Lawless. Yeah, that's all right. And I, I think... I want to check here. Uh, it seems like that this... It seems like that this record, specifically this one, is an import. I don't know if that's true. I'm going to look here. I'm like I can see that. 
I just, it just, uh... London, England. Well, that's their information fan club. I don't know. It just feels like it's sort of flimsy, and it's well. Feels if like, it's the if it's their fan club in England, then it would well, be. I'm not saying it is or isn't. I'm just. saying. It would be an English. Anyway, this has the core of their best songs. Every song on it's good. My favorite Wasp song, at least from this album, is "The Flame." It's a good record. But yeah, I used to wear this out on cassette. My first concert. All right. Let's see. So on, so what do we have next? Connie Francis. Love Italian style. And this was fantastic. Love me some Connie Francis. This will definitely be standing in my collection. Um, every song on here was Italian. It'd be a nice record to listen to while you're eating spaghetti. <laughs> But um, she did a fantastic job singing them, and I really enjoyed it. It's a great record. She likes it. I really do. This record I wanted for a long time just because this is the original cover, and they had redone it, re-released it with a different cover, and I hate the, the new cover, but I found out recently, listening to, when we listened to Dave Mustaine on Eddie Trunk, he was talking about the albums, and he has remixed his albums. I don't know if the, he's done all of them. But when he remixed this album, that's the cover that is on the remixed one. So I didn't know that. So this is the original versions uh, on this track, and I just love the cover. It's so morbid. It's great. That's Vic Rattlehead when he was real. Now he's animated. Next. The next thing I have here is Marsha Waldroff. It's called Memoranda. And it was reduced, 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 as you can see here on the plastic. And I understand why it was reduced, reduced, reduced. It looks really cool. It looks so cool, which is why I bought it. This cover is fantastic. The back cover too. Here's the back cover. The music on here, not so much. The this record sucks. <laughs> I don't really remember what it sounds I like. I hate to be that rude, but it does. It sucks. I don't remember what it sounds like. It sounds like crap. Well, can you be more specific? <laughs> what kind of crap? <laughs> it's well, first of all, her voice is tenor, so she's got a very low voice. And when she sings, it's real wispy, almost to the point of where she's talking her lyrics. I would probably like it. And, no, you didn't like it. I don't remember. I, I do. Well, you I, didn't like I it. I don't remember a lot. And, w and the lyrics don't make any sense whatsoever. I like that. I like the lyrics don't make any sense. Bad cover really cool fit for framing music not so much you can frame it there's not even a genre to put her in it's not even avant-garde it's just crap right. next it's going bye bye by the way another similar one to the couple I've shown motorhead iron fist and i have there's still a few motorhead records i'd like to get but this one the Iron Fist music video I remember seeing on uh, MTV's Heavy Metal Mania before it was um, before it was Headbangers Ball. And look at the outfits they got on there. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. So yeah, Lemmy and Motorhead. It's, it's like the best. All their albums are good. Whether I've heard them or not, I know they're good. This one has Iron Fist on it, of course. And then I think it has... It's so hard to see anything. Speed Freak is on here and uh, Don't Need No Religion. Those are the only ones I recognize by the title, but Multihad. Babe, let me show this whole stack before you share records. You know, that's a good idea. It will be kind of easy. I think that's a good idea. So the next record I have is Montrose. I freaking love this record. I love, love, love this record so much. 
I would say this record would have made me a Montrose fan. I've never heard Montrose music before. I, I before I listened to this, and this was so good. It's the best album. So good. That's the man right there. Very good record. Alright. So the next thing I have. Now. I'm really becoming a big fan of this next record. Our next artist. Tom Petty. I've heard Tom Petty a lot throughout my music experience in years. But. Just passing by. You know what I mean? It was just passing by. Oh yeah, that's Tom Petty. He's cool. I'm really, really enjoying his music. And after I listened to the Stevie Nicks um, book, audio book, this, he is such an amazing man. So that gave me a lot of respect for him. Sad that he's passed away. Um, he could have made so much more great music for us to enjoy and listen to. But this was fantastic, and I will be getting some more Tom Petty music. Is Refugee on that one? Um, I don't remember. Yes, it's the first song. Oh. So then the next thing I have is Deep Purple. That's an early one. It was weird. It, it didn't sound like Deep Purple that I know I and, and remember. Mach 1. This is who... Who do we think we are? Do we think we are? Yep, that's what it is. I mean, it was okay. It's worth the price paid for. It, yeah, it was only $1.99. I will keep it because I have other Deep Purple uh, records that I do enjoy listening to. But it probably won't get listened to too much. It was still sort of psychedelic then, if I remember right. Um, so then the next thing I have is Love and Spoonful. Um, everything playing. And I did not like this record. The cover's really cool. Super cool. And then Brenton said he didn't think he has this record, so this will probably go to him because I'm a good, loving wife. It's on Kama Sutra. Well, I don't think I have it. So, here you go. Next I have Mop the Hoople's Greatest Hits. And I bought this record because we were at a record show quite some time ago, actually. And... I was telling him I never heard of Mop, Mop the Hoople. I didn't even know who they were. But these, every one of these little squares here are album covers of theirs. And I thought, hmm, that's pretty cool. I like their album covers. I like their their artwork. So they must be kind of interesting. But I listened to it and they sound a lot like David Bowie, which is good because I love David Bowie. So, yeah, I will be keeping this. He wrote their big hit song. I don't know if I'm going to be buying any more Mop the Hoople. This is the greatest hits. This might be the only thing I really truly need from them. But I did enjoy this record. Record Store Day is releasing a Mop the Hoople, the Golden Age of Rock and Roll album. This is the end of this month. Are they? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that in there. The next record I have to show... This is called The Golden Avatar, A Change of Heart, and this cover is fantastic. If you like fantasy, you can see all the fairies and Grasshopper King, and there's the back right here. Fantastic cover, which is what got me. Well, here is the sleeve. The sleeve is not quite the same as the cover. 
And it is music. Lyrics. Here is the, the label. You can kind of see what that says. Maybe. Let's see if I can turn it around here and see if you can see what that says. Might be backwards. What this is is a com a conversion record. It's trying to get you to convert to Hinduism or um, not Hinduism. Is it like a worship record or what? It is a worship record. Here, I'll just read this. Har Krishna. That's what I was trying to say. Um, dedicated to his divine grace, A.C. I'm going to butcher this name. Bhakadivanita. I'm sure that's it. Swami. Parhudada, the spiritual master of the Har Hara Krishna movement and author of the classic Sherman Bhagavatam and Bhagavadada as it is. And basically that's exactly what this record is. It is worship music to convert you to become Har Krishna. I have this record, but I don't remember. This record is so hilarious. I'm just going to say, no no uh, offense meant to anyone who practices, but it's the music on here. Picture people sitting around a fire, a campfire, and you have a guitar an acoustic and people are swaying back and forth and it's very calm and campfire music that's what this record sounds like exactly what it sounds like every song <laughs> it was quite hilarious I got a, a little bit of a chuckle out of it and it will be going bye bye I may be keeping the album cover but the record itself I'm not gonna keep wrong Wrong answer. Sorry. Okay, the first one I got to pick up where I left off, wherever that was, is Fish Head's Picture Disc, Greatest Hits. <laughs> uh, I didn't know this was a thing, but... Uh, Thank goodness was, we have a nice record store. I was made to know. There it is. And the other side, that's sort of hilarious. It's just, it's on Rhino. And it's just the record just it's you know so hilarious but it plays on both sides it has uh five songs total um and i think the original single was fish heads on one side and party in my pants on the other which it has both of these on here and there's three other songs barns and barns i don't think i said that fish heads the music video is uh, an essential 80s weird music video next Oh, uh, they're roly poly fish heads. I forgot that part. We love that song. I, I absolutely love it. Next thing I have is Bat Dwarf and Rodney. And I actually bought this record because I thought it was another Oops. band. Oops. Oops, I did it again. Um, that I had some of their records, which I think is the actual next record, so I'm not going to say. But I thought it was that you have? that um, record or that band, so I bought this. But I actually really enjoyed it. It's not the same band as I thought it was, but I really, really did enjoy it. It's kind of um, southern rock, maybe. What is it, Batman and Robin? No, it's called Bad Dwarf and Rodney. It's on Asylum Records. Uh, the next two I'll uh, show is from the same artist, Weird Al Yankovic in 3D. And this has Eat It, which was the first breakthrough hit for him, and he's been having hits ever since. And I think, um, I don't know if there was another single off here, but the flip side of 
eat it was uh, That Boy Could Dance, which is one of my favorite Weird Al songs of all time, and it's an original song. And then this album, Dare to Be Stupid, which uh, was another great record. All his records are good, especially the 80s ones. This has Like a Surgeon on here, uh, which was a single. One More Minute, which is a great original song. Slime Creatures from Outer Space. They're all good. Weird Al. I think he's the first... His last album, I think, went to number one. Or I think he might have more than one number one album. Well, this is the band that I thought the last record was and wasn't. This is Celio and Capanano. This is a duo that is from Hawaii. And I have two of their records that I listened to. There's the second one. First one is just... Um, self-entitled and the second one is called night music i really enjoyed night music better than the other i i like this one better than this one but they're both good and um kind of light rock um so if you like that kind of music i definitely would say pick them up they were it's a really good band uh, and this is a um, import, German import, the Scorpions, Love Drive, with the original cover, which was banned in the U.S., I guess, for a while. I don't know about now. I think this was the alternate cover, but I could be wrong. Do you know right on? I don't know. But I'm not going to take it out. The Scorpions, uh, Love Drive is a good song. They're all good. Let's see. I'm trying to think what other songs are on here that I might. Um, Holiday is a good one. Loving you Sunday morning. They're all good. Scorpions. Next thing I have is Songs of the Greek Islands. And this was a musical record. And I am Greek, but this music just didn't it didn't hit my fancy. So yeah, it's going bye bye. It just un it's very unusual that it I wouldn't like it, but yeah. Nope. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult, Agents of Fortune. Is that right? Yes. And this is the one that has uh, Don't Fear the Reaper on it. Tattoo Vampire is another great song, which I guess was a single at one point on the opposite side of Don't Fear the Reaper. I love that cover. Yeah, yeah that's unusual. Here's the people. And I recently showed a box set in my, a Blue Oyster Cult box set in my last one of my recent videos, because I'm on a kick of theirs. I really like their music. The more I listen to it. So, the next thing I have is Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer. You listen to Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer. No, you listen to Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer. Taurus. And I hated this. <laughs> it's not that bad. I hated it. It's going bye-bye. Uh, Night Ranger's first album, Dawn Patrol. Got this for 99 cents. It's well worth it. This is, it, has, it has one of my favorite songs of theirs, Don't Tell Me You Love Me, and which was the first single music video, so on and so forth. And I think, um, yeah, Eddie's Coming Out Tonight was sort of a minor hit. Sing Me Away was a minor hit. It was a good record. But yeah, I like, I like Night Rangers, most of their stuff. The next thing I have is Allison Parson, Alan Parsons Project, Pyramid. I didn't like it either. I only paid 50 cents for this record, but it's going bye-bye. This is an original version of a recent reissue that came out. Rolling Stones, Goat's Head Soup. They have a deluxe version out on CD and vinyl. Um, which is just sort of coincidence that I pulled this out because, you know, I was going through the stacks of stuff to listen to. And this has uh, Dancing with Mr. D on it, Angie, which is a great song. Star Star and Heartbreaker is on here, but Rolling Stones, you're starting to become a fan more and more, aren't you? I am. Um, Humble Pie. Performance by uh, Rockin' the Fillmore. This is a live record. Double album. 
And this was really good for a live record. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it. It's a, it is definitely rocking the Fillmore. They were rocking on this record for sure. Uh, another Alan Parsons project record. Uh, we listened to recently. This is Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe. And it's very strange, but that's great, because I figured it would be. I don't really know what else to say. Did you like this one? Um, parts of it. It was some spoken parts in there, and then there was some musical parts. The next thing I have is Duran Duran. When I was growing up, this is one of my very favorite bands. It still is one of my favorite bands. This is Night Romantics. It's a Japanese pressing of some of their songs. Uh, Planet Earth. Uh, Fame. <laughs> you can't see Andy because they've got that Japanese uh -huh. tag on it, but Andy's got like white hair. Um, Girls on Film. Um, it's night, it's got a couple of night versions on here, so, like, each side only has, like, two songs on it. And I actually never knew that they did, um, David Bowie's Fame, and Simon does a really good job of that song. I didn't know that but there's the back, that's the band members. Look at Nick. <laughs> hmm. Look, you can see Andy there. Mm -hmm. He was... Had that hairstyle in Planet Earth video. Yeah. I think it was more fluffy than that, though, even. I love the Planet Earth video. It's one of my favorite Duran Duran videos. Uh, this album I found at a Goodwill at one time. It's uh, XTC, Oranges and Lemons. It's a double album. One of their best ones, I think, from what I've read and heard. Uh, I don't know if I have any other of theirs on vinyl. I can't remember. And it's a gold stamp promo, which I don't care, but... It's a double album, and we listen to that, and I like it. I think it's it's typical British, 80s, new wave type It was type bad. Stuff. It was pretty good, actually. Because yeah, I'd heard some of their music previous to that, so. Next thing I have is Duran Duran Notorious. This is the extended mix. And then this also has Winter Marches On, which is a fantastic song. It's one of... The best Duran Duran songs, I think. Of course, my favorite Duran Duran song is The Chauffeur. But it ranks up there. In the top five. That's been labeled. Um, that's the only two songs that's on the whole record. It's uh, 12 Inch. Hi. Uh, I got this. Joy Division. Unknown Pleasures, first album, and I don't know what version this is, uh, it's just a 180 gram, 2007 remaster, so I don't know, I know this has been re-released several times, because it's such a popular record, I'd like to get a lot more of their stuff, which I know they don't have a whole lot more, but I'd like to get what I don't have. It was good. Joy Division is... And, you know, I've listened to this record enough that I actually know the songs, which is, I like the fact that I, it makes me feel like I'm uh, established. The next thing I have here is, uh, don't fall, is Arcadia. I absolutely love Arcadia. It's three members of Duran Duran, Roger, Nick, and Simon. And Theodore. This cover is fantastic. And um, he loves the song Diablo on here, El Diablo. I like re-election day too. Re-election day, re-election, is it re-election day? Re-election day, election day. It's called election day. Election day. I keep, I keep, I love every song on this record. I love this record so much. <clears throat> I like the artwork too. And the last one I got here is Television Marquee Moon, which is another band I'd like to get more stuff of theirs. This is a good record. When I first bought this record it's not, and listened to it, it's like, that's not what I thought it would sound like. But
but it's still good. It's a repress, right? Yeah, this is a reissue. Um, it sounds like sort of, how did I describe it when we were listening to it that day? Sort of like the Violent Femmes, and I don't remember what other band I compared them to, but I thought they would be more like sort of goth sounding. Mm-mm. Not really, but it's good. It's still good. It is good. Um, then the next thing I have is another, I showed this band in a, in a previous video, First Aid Kit. I am really in love with this band. This is their third record that I've gotten. And this one did not displease. It, it's just as good as the other two that I have. Centerfold. I want to say the vinyl is black, but I'll show it to you. Here's the sleeve. Yeah, that's a pretty picture on that side. And aren't they sisters? They are sisters, and I want to say they're from Sweden. It's either Sweden or Norway. Um, but they don't sound like they're from another country. Like, they, you can't tell they have an accent or anything like that is what I mean. Like, it's kind of, um folk music but it I think their style has changed a little bit since they can rock too trust me I've heard them rock yeah they do war pigs that was great when they did that they're fantastic if you have never heard of them please check them out they are amazing 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 like Spider-Man they're becoming one of my favorite new favorite bands more than Spider-Man. The next thing I have, I actually, it's so funny because I was telling Brenton there was a couple of records that I wanted to find when we went record shop, shopping a few weeks ago. And this happened to be one of them. I guess you get what you ask for. I didn't find the other record, but I did find this. This is Phoebe Snow. And this has Poetry Man on it, which is probably the most famous song that she's known for. I've never heard it. He never heard it, which is amazing that I heard it and he never heard it. He's the music guru. But I'm the coffee guru. The sleeve on this obviously is not been taken care of very well. I want to but, say I have that record. At least they taped it back together. But the record is in fantastic shape. And I could listen to that song Poetry Man over and over and over and over again. I absolutely love this song. Your battery's about to die. Well, I only got one more record, so. Alright. So, before the battery dies, let me show you this. Because this is Piece of resistance. Um, this is a tribute to Motley Crue. It's Crew Believers, featuring L.A. Gun, Bang Tango, Bullet Boys, London, Tracy Gun, Jack Russell, Pretty Boy Floyd, and more. And what it is is different artists singing Motley Crue songs, and it is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And that's a new release, isn't it? It is a new release. And I want to say it's color vinyl, so let's let's look. It is color vinyl. Pretty red. See through red. Um my favorite song off of here, which I love all Motley Crue songs for the most part. I mean, they are one of my favorite bands. But Jack Russell singing Kickstart My Heart is fantastic. He sounds just like Vince Neil. It's, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? I was like, that sounds like Vince. Why is Vince singing? This is supposed to be a tribute. And I looked, I was like, that's Jack Russell. That did not sound like Jack Russell to me. But it was fantastic. This is a great record. I recommend it. And that is all we have. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time.
Look for both videos, one and two. Bye now.